Hello, Cactus. Thank you for lurking. Um, let's see. Does this not have sound? Or do I not hear the sound? Hmm. Why am I not hearing the sound? Am I using the sound? What sound am I using? We are using the correct sound. Why am I not able to hear the game? I could hear it on the start menu. Ugh. Why? Why, world, why? Nope. Why are we not connecting to my computer? Why are we only connecting to my phone, which I don't want you to connect to? <sighs> Please connect to my computer. I need to have headphones to connect. Okay, I am back to, okay, apparently also my touch portal disconnected. Why? Why is everything suddenly not working? Everything is suddenly not working for my sins. Okay, I think think we're back to working I can hear sound looks like you guys can hear sound theoretically looks like you guys can hear me you're about to stop hearing sound because this game um, stops playing sound when I switch off of it for reasons I will never understand but um, we are going to try we're gonna try we're gonna try okay let's let's do this we want a new game okay there's very vague music here that's also maybe part of the problem okay i, I don't want to be lucy um oh which voice do we want i like this voice okay now we get to all right i want my i i started playing this game a couple of days ago to try it and i made a character who is completely blue so this character is gonna be slightly uh slightly purple mm, I want you to be like a lighter purple, is the thing. I like super lightly purple. Very lightly purple. Okay. I'm kind of okay with this face shape. Maybe a little bit rounder. Hair. Okay. So, uh, don't want space bones. I think that's the. No, no. Uh, that's reasonable. Yeah. And let's give it a nice long ponytail, but probably slightly shorter bangs because I don't actually want them like in my face. And then our hair color is gonna be 
like blue or purple rather but we're going to have like oh, mm, like a teal sort of highlight well not quite like Yeah, like a teal highlight. Okay. I'm gonna leave the eyebrows alone, but not the eyes. The eyes need to be... Do we want... Do we want stars? Do we want hearts? Well, I kind of like hearts. Um... Okay, this gives me weird heterochromia. I don't think I want weird heterochromia. Um, can we have not weird heterochromia? Like just just some some nice bright green eyes with nor normal pupils. <laughs> um, okay, I think. I think this is fine for eyes. I'm gonna leave the ears alone, maybe. Yeah, because otherwise, yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna try to do like nose is fine, mouth is fine. We don't want any facial hair. Uh, do we want freckles? I think we do. Yeah, I think we do. Um, no eyeshadow, no blush. We probably want some lipstick because, um, otherwise it's just really hard to see the mouth. I think this is probably good enough. Yeah. This is our builder. Okay, choose our birthday. I want our birthday to be like late enough that we know people. How about uh, last day of spring? I think we start game in summer, don't we? Oh. Yeah, right. We want to do it when there is no event. Yes. I think we start with summer anyway. <laughs> load game, load. Who's that watching us? We don't know. We'll find out, I'm sure, soon enough. So this game is a sequel to my time at Portia. Um, but I found it to be actually a lot more fun and a lot nicer than Portia, so... Oh, hey. Okay, let's let's follow her. Howdy there! I'm Yan, president of the Sandbox Commerce Guild. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Yada yada yada. I'll be overseeing you with Mian, but don't think of me as your boss. Think of me more. Here's Mason. 
he's retiring, and you know, the whole reason for you being here and whatnot. But you knew that already. Uh, what am I talking about? Anyway, see that workshop there on the other side of the tracks? It used to be Mason's, but now it's all yours. Ain't that swell? <laughs> Just think of all the great stuff you'll be able to make in there for our Commerce Guild. And, well, for other people too, I guess. find it run down and dilapidated, ill-equipped, and it is certainly those things, but you may also find that the place has a lot of heart. Is that what we call it? Heart? I believe that will suffice. May you bring blessings to the land. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to the blue moon. There are only so many more days I'll be able to get my yak mill milk. Ew. This sounds too much like yak milk, which uh, it is. Was a bit awkward, mind you. Anyway, back to business. Before you start, I need to tell you all a bit about how we work here in the desert. I know you already hold builder licenses, but things are a bit different here from what you're used to. To start with, there are too many trees around, so don't go swinging your axe around too much. It's uh, frowned upon. But there's plenty of scrap metal and driftwood you can break apart. For that, you'll need something called a pick hammer. It's a pick with a hammer, just as the name implies. Mm. We use it only because it's useful for breaking up rocks, but it's also durable enough to break up the old world scrap all around here. Easy stuff to make as well. You just need to find some stone and wood and craft it at your work table. Why don't you try making one for yourselves? You'll be needing it right away anyway. When you're done, just come find me in the Commerce Guild. But, you know, uh, no rush. <laughs> uh, see you there. <laughs> so, if things are pretty easy to make, we should be able to find the stone and wood we need by just searching through junk piles on the grounds near our workshop. Speaking of things is fun. It's, it's literally right there, man. I'm not going to get lost. Oh, I have a letter. In theory. directly on top of an old world metropolis. They say some old scraps even end up here on the surface when the wind blows. Once we have our pick hammers, we can smash them up and get all the resources we need. Also, I kind of wanted to say something to you people. Um, see, the reason I cleaned the sand rock is because it's not doing well for itself. Yeah, I know. Everybody in the free city knows. I didn't hesitate signing that contract. Me either. I thought it would be the best thing for me to make a difference in the world. I bet you feel the same way. I do. So come, build a pavilion. Let's take sand rock back to its glory days during our time here. Let's give it our all, okay? Okay. <laughs> well, I'm off to make my pick hammer. See you around. Okay. What did we get for... a lamp uh, from the developers and a fun chair from the developers uh, and some other stuff from the developers and then these are um, some 
furniture. And uh, a gecko. I'm not going to get the other stuff because I'm not going to have any room in my in my stuff. So I'm just going to go quickly put this in my house. Because I think my house has like nothing but a bed right now. Yep. Let's um, put that down. And let's put... Uh, well, we're going to put this chair down outside later. Um, do not, do not, do not, do not, do not, do not put those in here. But put these in here because I need to put these, all these things in the house. Um, because, uh, so one of the cool things about, one of the cool things about the, um, about this game, how do I put it into T? Put it in my inventory. Why am I not able to put it in my inventory? Uh, Okay, fine. Put that bed down here so that I can put this bed over here. Um, but I have to be... Oh my god, why is nothing fitting? Why is nothing fitting? Why? Why? Why is nothing fitting? fit this bed over here now that the other bed is out of the way oh my god oh my god okay so now we want to put the bookshelf down well not bookshelf the wardrobe rather and lamp and the couch I think maybe nope not like that uh, did I manage to line them up no <sighs> I think that's potentially as close as I can get it. I'm not sure I... Nope, do not sit. I just, I just want to... like I want to back up the the couch not like I want to back up the builder not the couch but oh well um and then we want this little thingy Why is it? No, that's not what I want. I guess it won't fit over there, so we have to fit it over here. Oh, let's put the table down first. And I guess stand in the middle of it.
Okay, great. Now I have to actually go do stuff. Hi. Alright. So I need to put the gecko house somewhere and I need to put this thing somewhere and at some point I need to put the armchair and the but first we should put the gecko house somewhere um okay I think yeah there we go this way up and this is the terrible weird bean bag but it'll do um do i have i have no oh i can i can pick up a stone axe oh good and then i can use it to maybe hit this furnace maybe no that needs a pick hammer okay fine but i can deal with this with the sax yeah okay good collect some stone and we need to find some wood to collect as well so that we can make our pick hammer oh i had wood okay well i guess i will have more um little friend i want you to go and get water thanks little friend okay great tutorial nonsense i would like to build a pick hammer we have built a pick hammer uh, now that we have a pick hammer we can uh Yay! What do we need for... Oh, we can't build anything yet. We need to go talk to Dude Bro. Okay, let's go talk to Dude Bro before we go exploring or anything. Just because... We're not sort of in free play yet because of needing to report to Dude Bro, so. Now that's a nice looking pick hammer. It is the soul of a desert builder. Never lose it. But if you do, well, now you know how to build another one, I suppose. Next, let me tell you about the recycler. It's another indispensable tool for a desert builder. It's the machine that's synonymous with make do. <laughs> Once it's made, you can put the scrap you collect with your pick hammer into the recycler to get all kinds of useful items. You can construct the recycler on your assembly station. Here's the diagram for it. Just look it up in your workshop handbook. You can also open to it on the console panel at the assembly station. Eh, don't worry so much. You'll figure it out. Come back to the Commerce Guild when you finish. Bye now. Okay. Hi, Mason. Oh, it's you. Anything else? No. I didn't actually want to meet you, I guess. Owen is who I'm romancing in my other Are you hungry? save. I have a couple sample dishes. I know you can work up <laughs> quite an appetite uh, after spending a day in the ruins. Drop by any time. I'll be around. Yay, thanks for giving me things. So long, partner. Okay. 
nobody else here right now. You, Nira. Oh, you must be one of the new builders. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Amira. I have the best selection of pottery and decor in town at the Serenic Gate. Mason probably sold everything they talked about when he moved out. So why don't you take this? It's my welcome gift. Aw. A ceramic bottle. Thank you. Assembly Station Handbook. I open the diagram and check what I need. I need to make a stone trow, which I need one more of. I have the wood, and then I need to make a grinding saw. I need 12 stone, and I have two. And I need two more, so I need 14 stone total and eight dinas. Okay. And it tells me that up at the top. So I need to go find stuff to collect and break and whatever. Good, that gets me stone. Uh, I think I need more. I need a hard rocks. I cannot break hard rocks yet. Um, yep. Oh yeah, yeah, I've leveled up. It's also hard rock. Where's my not hard rock? It's all hard rock. Oregano. This is one of those games where you want to collect like everything you possibly can anytime you possibly can get it. Um. Ah, there we go. I have about two hours to play today, so see how far I can get in those two hours. Oh, good, I'm getting dew as well. I got wood and fiber from Yakthorn here, so that's all good. Are there more easy rocks? Not actually very easy rocks or anything, but they're easier than the hard rocks. So, yeah. I don't know if I have enough yet. Let me get this. I'm thinking I'm gonna get this rock and then go and try to try to build stuff. Build another one of those and build one of these. Is that what I needed? That is what I needed. Okay, now I'm supposed to go and talk to Yan. Oh, but I see more people. Let's 
this afternoon, I guess. You're that new builder in town. <laughs> or was it someone else? Ah, that's right. There's two of you. There are. One and uh, you must be the other one. Yeah, because this game doesn't want to try to pronounce my name. I'm Hugo, the one and only blacksmith in town. If you need to buy construction materials, upgrade parts of your machines, or obtain top of the line weapons, I'm all you got. But I promise the best. Just check this out. This here is like me, iron tough. That's the quality I'm talking about. Okay. Yay. Copper bars. Anybody else show up? No. That's still just Mason. Yep, that's that's what it can do. The main thing to take away here is that from now on, whenever you have questions, you can just consult your workshop handbook and definitely uh, not ask me anything related <laughs> to building whatsoever. Yes, I'll be far, far too busy to handle your questions. So okay. now you have the basic knowledge of a desert builder. Why don't you mosey on over to City Hall and Where's the mayor? You hadn't heard? She's off trying to plant things in the Ufala desert. <laughs> Didn't no one ever tell her plants need dirt to grow? <sighs> Say, she's been gone for a while. I sure hope she's still alive. <laughs> oh, uh, by the way, I found a couple of extra diagrams I was probably going to throw away. <laughs> but uh, why would I do that when I could just uh, recycle them? To you. <laughs> uh, no need to thank me. Consider it a new employee uh, bonus uh, thingy. Anyway, uh -huh. hurry over to City Hall and have Matilda register your workshop. While you're out, I'll be preparing a job for you. Hurry back when you're registered. Okay. And I guess we get to go become official and meet Matilda. Oh, but first, we're going to meet a cat. And a child. Ah, wait, child, wait. Hi, new builder. I'm Jasmine. I grew up here. My mom's the mayor, but she's not here right now because mayoring is such a busy job. But that's okay. Everyone in this town is really nice. You're going to like it a lot. Okay, child. Okay, another clue. Uh, howdy. I'm afraid I might be on my way. Uh, the new workshop owner? Well, shoot, now why didn't you say so? I'm Elsie. Pleased to meet you. Sorry I didn't recognize you, partner. I thought all builders were born old geezers like Mason. Take her easy. Okay, wait, there's another cat to meet. Yeah. You can only make things your pets um, if you have a good relationship with them. Oh, it's you. <laughs> I thought you were one of Logan's cats. <laughs> Silly me, you look nothing like an outlaw. I do not want a uh, combat lesson. But hear me out. You never can be too careful with all these bandages out. And did I mention I'm the strongest man in the world? 
Yeah, go away, Pam. I don't like you. Why, hello there. You must be the Builder. I'm Minister Matilda from the Church of Life, filling in for Mayor Creed. So excited to see you getting started as a Builder here in Sandlot. With your help. That means you must have passed Jen's little audition and you're ready to register your workshop. Was that what that was, an audition? Fill in the name of your workshop and we're all set. Okay. Um. That's a. <coughs> that's a good name, right? That'll do it. If you ever want to change your workshop name again, can buy a renamed card from the city hall store. Makes sense. Congratulations, Builder. Your workshop is officially open for business in Sandrock. Whenever you're ready. Now, Oops, I'm not exactly sorry. known around these parts for my original, but I do reckon we can expect a lot from two builders as opposed to just old Mason by his lonesome. Work That's hard, the hope. And you'll have plenty of pocket money for yourself too, don't you know? Say this calls for a celebration. Normally we have fireside meetings on Sunday nights, but I reckon I'll just round everyone up tomorrow to proper welcome you new builders. Oh, and you must come. It wouldn't be the same without you. See you then. And congratulations again, builder. May you bring Telesis to Sandra. Great. <coughs> around oh there's a newspaper okay uh, do I have a hundred gil great more rep more gold okay there are like no people around No. All right. It's an asshole emergency. And Rocky's not the asshole. Policy. No, Rocky, don't look. Well, what I really meant is uh, I was bringing in new people to take special care of your commission. <laughs> look, here they are. Did we come at a bad time? No, no. You came at the perfect time. Uh, Mr. Rocky here is the big boss of the Paula Salvage, and he's got a very special commission that we should take care of right away. With Mason's departure, the commission sort of got lost in the shuffle for a few uh, uh, months or so. But now that you two are both registered workshops, you can take this commission off my hands. Uh, help out, uh, right? Oh, yeah, sure. That's what we're here for. Can do that after the job. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. judgment i'm gonna give you one more chance great listen here builder rocky and his miners are working out of paradise lost you know that big looking ruins right next to the builder's workshop my pal here commissioned two crane lifts 
to move things up and down this real long tunnel they're working out of. And since there are two of you, each one of you can make a list. Easy peasy for all. I'm sorry for putting you two on the spot. If only Yan's doing his job like he's supposed to. And hey, I'm not your pal. If you're looking for parts, we have a bunch of salvage in our company backyard that you can ruffle through. It's located by the Paradise Lost Ruins. Lots of miners there. Can't miss it. Normally, we charge a weekly fee for access. But here, take a free one-week pass. When you're done, install it for me as well. She already drew me up a diagram for the list. So here, you can have it. Hope you put it to better use than this guy you just used for us over here. Uh, my, uh, back was hurting. Based on this diagram, only one will be able to find these parts from anywhere. We'll need to take a look at Rocky's salvage bin. Looks like we'll need to use the furnace as well. Well, we can't finish if we don't get started. Let's do our best. Okay. So, we need to... Basically, we're going to need to build a furnace. And then we can do the, what did we get? Because he gave us extra things for here. Oh, there we go. So we already have a work table. We now know we need a crane lift. We have a recycler. We need to put that down. Um, and oops. Yeah, for the furnace, we're going to need um, one more quartz and wooden sticks. Okay. All right, so build wooden sticks, I think we said we need to build at least one of these, and we need more quartz, right? Uh, nope, um, yeah, we need two of those, and two of those, and we need more quartz. I need at least one more quartz. Well, might as well go to the... Every day when I get off the clock, I find a nice place up high where I can relax and enjoy Yakmo milk. Now that's the Bosch life, huh? You don't know Bosch? That's what people from my hometown call taking it easy. Okay. Stone scrap. over here. Ah, mixed junk. Let's need quartz. We might have to get the quartz out of the recycler. Is this not scrap? Oh yeah, no, this is just not scrap. I got a data disk. Okay. Anything up here? Yes, it's the rubber. Okay. Oh, nope, I need a better tool for the rubber scraps. Okay. All right. Did I get more quartz? No. I think the quartz comes from, um, nope, need a better tool. It's a hard rock. I need some not hard rocks. Um, 
No, that's a there's a quartz. Great. That should be enough to make a furnace. But also, let me put down my recycler. Here we go. So we have fuel and let's make a furnace. I think we can. Yay, we totally could. Make bricks. Oh, nope. We do need to give you fuel. Um, so that's gonna get us bricks. We need to make wooden sticks. Well, we need more wood to make wooden sticks. And also we need to pick up a rope. Um, design thingy. We might as well also go visit Director Chi, Professor Chi, whatever his name is. Do I have any money? I have zero money. I need $16. Oh, but I can sell this stupid bed. I shouldn't need anything else yet. Oh, but I can ha I can do commissions now. Oh, goodness gracious. Uh, three days. Uh, I can't do those yet. Three days, three days, five days, five days. Mm. Sure. I will make you a furnace, but first we need to go find, talk to researcher Chi. That's somewhere that way. Mm. Ah, the research center. Okay, it's seven o'clock. Why are you upstairs? Can you talk? I was an iron thing. Exact replicas of these relics, but with a builder's help, we can get pretty close. Data discs help me create diagrams for the new machines, which you can construct in the assembly station. Hmm. I keep a collection of diagrams plus potential future plans with me at all times. So if you need to build something that's not in your handbook, talk to me. Bring me data discs, and I'll give you new diagrams. Come, come here when you have more data discs. I don't know how many I have. I have two, which means that I cannot do anything. 
Okay. I will come back for you later. Yeah, okay, tutorial, go away. Yeah, I think the quartz is going to be the the hardest to find stuff. Wooden boards. Not gonna say no. Hey, I'm unsure. I'm a member of the local civil court. There are dangerous elements all around town, such as the criminal gangs led by Logan or the aggressive Uyghurs. You should be careful. <coughs> you see anything? <coughs> Excuse me. enough stamina <coughs> All right, I need rocks well I need gravel or whatever the, the, the cheap crappy rocks Yeah, I think I got a bunch of um, stamina back when I leveled. <coughs> I just need more quartz. I got me one more quartz. Do I have anything else that I can trade in for stamina? <coughs> no. Okay. I guess it's going to have to wait until tomorrow. Do we have wood scrap? We do. 
Let's see if we can get wooden sticks out of it. So we have two started making five. But we need six. We also need to um, <coughs> put all of that stuff down. Okay, let's let's put stuff down. First of all, that. progress um, what else do we need to like hang up that might be it uh, there we go we got a bunch of stamina and some luck Great. And did I ever collect anything the gecko brought home? Did the gecko bring home things? Yes, he did. Good gecko. Okay. Put that in there, put that in there, put that in there. <coughs> sort everything else. And go to sleep. That was our first day in Sandrock. Apparently, we are gonna always get out of bed in the wrong direction. That's okay.
We meant yesterday. If you like reading it, just go to the newsstand near City Hall to subscribe. Then you can get each issue in the mail. Oh, hey, I got a card waiting for you, Trey. I move this town like the back of my hand. Let me show you around. I'm a super good tourist. Okay, sure. That Pinko official Shamrock tour is now beginning. Our first stop will be the Wandering Wine Yakmel Ranch. Okay, child, lead me on a tour. There's all those people I need to meet, but instead I'm following this child. Serve water. You got it. You must have done your homework. I did do my homework. <laughs> Okay, child, I'm following you. It is kind of fabulous. Well, child, the difference is that I build things and she designs things. Oh, by the way, from the station to here is the main street of Shamrock. Arvio's store, Grandma Beebe's clothes shop, Mr. Owen's saloon, um, Mr. Popo's parlor. Yeah, they're all on this street, so you can definitely go shopping here when you have some time. Where are we going now? <coughs> okay, for somebody with such short legs, you run real fast, kid. Real fast. Center and the Golden Goose. Um, I think that's 
Nice. <clears throat> Okay. <sighs> I saw as we were going along on the, uh, the Jasmine Co. official tour that there were some um, treasure chests around, including over here somewhere. Like, yep, there we go. Money, I like money. And I like getting wood from the stuff, so that's all good. Uh, where were the stairs? Where were the stairs? I like. Were these the stairs? These were, I think, not the stairs. Uh, where were the stairs that I came up before? Uh, uh, uh. There we go. Because there was another chest somewhere down this way. We totally passed it. Where was it? Like I saw it off to the side. Uh, no, not here. <sighs> you know, I am so very bad at being able to find things. I think it was down this way because we took these stairs. I'm pretty sure we took these stairs. Yes, and there it is. Ooh, gold. Okay. Mason's just like hanging out. What does Yan want? Oh, it's you again. Say, since I've got you, can I ever explain the uh, mission board to you? I figured it out. <laughs> Dedicated to figuring it out yourself, eh? Well, good on you. The less time I have to spend training you, the more time I'll have for. You'll find the information you need in the Commerce Guild handbook on my desk. Check it out if there's something you're not getting. Ciao. Okay. Wait, do you have another? Oh, your mind, eh? oh no. I just want to meet everybody. Yay! Alright, I've met everybody else there already. I need to break more rocks because I need one more quartz. Okay, it's highlighted and I'm hitting it. Why am I not successfully hitting it? Because I'm holding the wrong tool. It does not work if I try to hit it with an axe. Oh, I think I got the quartz. Okay. Needed a furnace. Oh, hello, gecko. Hmm. 
please go and get me things. Okay. That's going to be an order that I need to fulfill. But meanwhile, I need some copper sticks and bearings. Well, the copper sticks are going to potentially come from that, so let's, let's go. Meanwhile, give the furnace to whoever wanted it. I think it was Hugo. Yep, that's Hugo. Yay, we got some reputation. We got some money. We should go back to the dump yard and try to get stuff there. we're gonna need more like copper scrap and stuff and also more data disks it's good Unlocked knowledge points. Okay, what is there any more? There's rubber, but I know that I can't open the rubber. That's nothing. Guess that's it. Hmm. <clears throat> Collect the hackthorn. Um, okay. All right, well, we need copper bars and we can't. We have, well, great, now we have two all copper sticks, so hopefully we'll get more. Um, oh, but I have points. Okay. Right. Yes, yes. Okay, which what do we want? I think we want to start with having more stamina. Um, salvaging and gathering. I think that's probably the right place to put the other. We need anything from here? No. How many data disks do I have now? Four. Okay, good. So I can go. We can take the yak.
We have eight gold. We are super rich. And by super rich, I mean we found the treasure chest of some, some guild, so... Where is the research center? Well, this is the research center's back door anyway. Do we want a grinder or a processor first? Let's go with processor, I guess. gonna steal somebody else's jerky oh my I don't think I ever did I ever tell it to show me um treasure chests on the map I don't remember where yeah super slow game speed Okay. Mm. Yeah, I have no idea where that particular setting is. Mm, well, we'll have to find it again at some point. I don't want to go inside. I was going to talk to her, but I just remembered, no, I've, I've already met her. Mm. Hello, dog. Ditsy pet, pet dog. Okay. Oh, hey, I've not met you. He must be one of the new builds. I guess let's go back. We've got time to kill. <coughs> so let's go do a quest called Call Me Fishmile. I think it was the one that was over here. Yep. Sorry to holler at you. Oh, <laughs> I must have dozed off. I thought 
Cooper. Hey, you've got friendly looks. If not for you, that robber might have pulled me in. Hey, you ever done much fan fiction yourself? Even if you're all struggling against nature, you never know for sure who'll come out on top. In case you haven't figured it out, that's kind of my thing. You're a city slicker, ain't you? Well, don't you be afraid of the great outdoors now, you hear? That's a whole desert out there just waiting to be explored. And all kinds of fan fish just waiting to be caught. Here's some stuff that'll get you started. Don't worry about hitting me back. I got plenty more where this came from. Well, I'd better get gone and find out what happened to my old man before he finds me and talks my dang ear off. Go. Hmm. I don't have a fishing thing. I want a fishing thing. I think I might need to um, I might need to go buy uh, a diagram for it from the Civil Commission. Yeah, yeah, we cannot hit hard rocks, I understand. It's one thing I am missing on the main screen is I really wish it told me like how much money I have. 421, that's not bad. All right, do we have a fishing trap thing here? Or is that not even an option for us? Or do we already know how to do it? Definitely need to build, be able to build storage. Okay. We are so far behind. I gotta catch up. Mm -hmm. <sighs> okay. more plant fiber because I'm going to need rope for the other thing too so I don't want to run out. We'll see. Oh, there's another dude. But I cannot get up there without let's meet we've this guy. Met, but I don't think we've been properly introduced. I'm Jensen, the conductor of the Sand Rock train station. It's been nice to have you, Sand Rock. Catch you later.
Shoot, when did I post that commission again? That was mighty quick. Wait till I tell my Yakmo about this. Hmm, we got knowledge. But it's workshop knowledge. Hmm, more XP. as well. Am I able to make a fishing thing? No. How do I make it? That makes me sad. I don't think I make it here. No. No. I think I just need to pick it up from somewhere. Hmm. Do I have enough to make water? Yes. Might as well get some rock hitting in because <coughs> all that stuff's going to take a while. I wonder when I can get the... <coughs> mm. The fishing thing, because I did the the fish mile. Hmm. Maybe later. <clears throat> There's a fireside meeting coming up, that's right. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my god. Okay. So we got to go back to City Hall. We're going to go this way. Just because we haven't gotten that way yet. Also, we're early. But that means we can say hello to all the cats. Oh, 
Oh God, meet me with this guy. Thank you for following. Hello, cat. Meow. Gotta say hello to the cats. Hello, new builder. It is wonderful to have you here amongst our desert flock. I am Virgin, <laughs> chief safety inspector of the Sand Rock chapter of the Church of the Light. Sorry, had to um, go ban somebody. I mostly patrol the oasis, and if that water level moves deep in a centimeter, boy, you better believe I'll let everyone and their mother know about it. Catch you later. No need for introductions. I know who you are. I'm Pastor Miguel. I guess you could say I'm your brain. I trust you'll bring Telus to Sandrock and beyond. Take care. Ah, you are a new builder, aren't you? Tahan Tisha. I roam by the sands, the only generous soul in town. Nevertheless, I think your phone our price is hard to beat. You're the only store. <laughs> I am that one. Matilda hopped me to help you out, being new and all. And I thought of something I think you're going to love. For the next seven days, everything in my store will be 50% off. Just for you, of course. How oh, nice. Take it easy. Simmer down now, y'all. <clears throat> As many of y'all know, our resident builder, Mason, was in a hard working member of our community for many years. We'll be leaving our flock to seek, shall we say, greener pastures. Mm. But today's mission is not about goodbyes. There'll be plenty of time for that at Mason's retirement home. No, today is a celebration of hellos. Let's give it up for our new builders. Say a few words. <laughs> I will make many friends. We've got ourselves a companionable soul here. I'm sure you'll find lots of friends here in Sand Rock. Everyone, let's be patient with our new builders while they learn the ropes. And builders, don't hesitate to ask any of us for help. We won't be hesitating in putting you all to work. One more time, a big Sand Rock we have some omelets courtesy of none other than our very own Owen. Get them while they're still hot. Meeting adjourned. <laughs> and remember, conserve water. Conserve water. Conserve water. Oh, you got an omelet. Oops. Hello. Well, might as well talk to you. Hello again, young one. I'm sure everyone around town is real fired up to meet you. Don't be shy. Go around and say hello. Be seeing ya. Uh, who have I not met yet? Uh, hey there, I'm Heidi, architect around these parts. Looks like old Mason handed you down a real fixer-upper of a workshop, huh? Well, lucky for you. I do plenty of fixing up. Come by my <laughs> office sometime if you're looking to upgrade your workshop. See ya. Welcome to Sandrock. I'm Mabel, my 
husband Cooper and I run the largest wash mold ranch south of the Yukon. Ever tried wash mold milk before? It's got an acquired taste. Here, take a couple of bottles. It's our way of saying, howdy do, neighbor. Great. Okay, so we need to be finding, what's the last thing? Oh, bearings, so it needs to be mechanical scrap. No, not that. I'm trying to start mechanical scrap. You stupid thing. Okay, because we've got <clears throat> enough copper sticks. Yeah, that's gonna take a while. Oh, my stuff full. My stuff is full. got yep my stats my items it's great I believe oh I have to be level 10 to wear that also I don't I don't want sandberry why am I holding a sandberry um no I I, I don't know where I got the chair from I don't have any other clothing right Hmm. Where is this chair from? I'm gonna set it up outside, I think. I don't have any room over here. Okay. Like, it's early, but... I can't really do anything as I wait for the thing to work. Hello, Builder. So nice to see you again. As per the minister's instructions, I have come with a gift. Why oh, would be more I like specific, gifts. The most precious gift of all in Sandrock. Bartles Oasis is pretty much our only reliable source of natural water. We also get some water from the other city-states, but it's expensive. So we need to be really careful and smart about how we divvy it out. Might I bring your attention to the humble little fence propped up around the oasis? It's the town's friendly way of saying, Don't take water out of the oasis all willy-nilly, or cut down the trees for that matter. <laughs> If you're short on water in your workshop, might I recommend checking the plants around your workshop for fresh morning dew? Or just come on down to the water tower overlooking the oasis. I'm pretty sure builder machines won't run without water in their water tank. So I guess that means we'll be seeing a lot of each other in the future. Mm -hmm. Well, I won't take up any more of your time. See you at the water tower, new pal. This is, is cool. All right, gecko friend. Go collect me water. Great. Well, I have water in there. 
I need one more bearing and then I can build this thing. Put water in my tank. Okay, I guess I'll put more water in my tank. Oh yeah, I need to check my mail. Welcome to Sandrock. On behalf of my good friend Mayor Trudy, who couldn't be available, I've read this letter. I own Construction Junction. Hope to see you. I do. Okay. You're a newcomer. Hope you're settling in. Drop by Blue Moon sometime. Okay. Thanks, Owen. In the research center, we learned how to make a processor. And uh, here's the newspaper, the tumbleweed standard. Uh, um, fashion friendly faces. Logan's still at large, in case you forgot. Uh, it's almost time for the day of memories. Uh, all right, letter from Ma. To Pal, I miss you. It's hard to believe only a few days have passed since you left for Sandrock. Your father and I are already missing you so much. Even when you were small, you were always wandering away from us. Sometimes I would just let you walk and see how far you'd go, but I always get nervous before you did. So I guess we should have seen this coming. I'm so proud of you, and I know you're going to do great things in your new job. No one else jumped at the chance to take that contract because it will be tough, but you took it anyway. I know you'll be able to bring Telesis to Sandrock. I just wish you'd take care of yourself a bit better. These quilts I folded for you are still sitting by the door. Do you want me to mail them to you? The desert gets really cold at night, I've heard. We're so happy you're independent now, but Sandrock can be dangerous, so please don't hesitate to ask for help. Pick up stuff from Mom and reply... Uh, everything's fine. Don't worry about me. All good, Ma. <laughs> and then these guys are, like, these are cool things that came with some DLC that I don't want to deal with are from the church. Important announcement at tonight's fireside meeting in front of City Hall, eight, 6 o'clock, don't be late. That's from yesterday, I think. Uh, okay. Right. Sort. So much nonsense. So much nonsense. All right, and it is morning. So... That's going, and I oh, there's something construction junction and commotion on the bridge. Let's go check out commotion on the bridge first. That sure does look like a commotion. Hey, Builder, what are you doing so far from your workshop? It ain't safe here. For some darn reason, these lizard folk have been poking the place in our territory. Great big no names all over the place. Even that truck is all over. I've heard they even messing with our bridge here. They call themselves the Geekers. And them acting all emboldened like, couldn't have come at a worse time. 
Right knows we've got enough to worry about with Logan and his gang out prowling around. Well, be warned. That's the only way away from here. How close to them can I get? Oh good. I can try to fight these guys. I'm not very good, but this is how I get good. I just hope I don't, you know, die. Oh, I'm gonna die. Not me dying. When did we last save? Wednesday morning. Before we check the mail. Okay. Check the mail again. Okay, let's just save. <sighs> Sorry guys, we're gonna have to do this again. By the time I encountered them the first time in my other game, I think I was higher level. Okay. I guess we won't go there. Um, but let's go to Construction Junction, because that's the next thing. Hey there. Reckon you got my letter? Hog Mason goes back treating you. If it's not quite what you were expecting, might be high time to start upgrading. If you've got the gold in the materials, I can set you up with a new building for your workshop, or upgrade something you've already got. Just take a look at that catalog over there on the desk to see what we're working with. Oh, also, I've always got plenty of materials stored around here. If you ever want to trade some of yours for mine, just check out the vet's the gist of it. Here's to a happier home. Okay, we are not gonna really do any of this here. Certainly not yet. But we want to look at it, I guess, so that, like, I didn't have a thing. What is she selling here? A bunch of stuff. <laughs> Pet castle. Not gonna, not gonna buy any of this stuff right now. Do 
have any other yeah I need to go meet Owen oh yeah we haven't met you yet Great. Does it really not have fish trap it really does not have a fish trap it's really annoying okay and I'm not able to take on anything that needs me to give you bronze bars not gonna happen at least not yet I like food and drinks. I've been meaning to catch up with you since you moved in. But I guess you and Leanne have been busy with all that's been going on up there. <laughs> As a, a small bit. token of my appreciation, I'd like to offer you some food and drinks on the house. To a newcomer, Sand Rock can be a bit overwhelming. But lucky for you, this old barkeep has been around for just a hair longer than a penny <laughs> bat's age. Uh, perhaps I can shed some light on any subjects you're still unfamiliar with. What would you like to know about? Oh, yeah. I get to ask lots of questions. Let's learn about the Civil Corps. Uh, the Civil Corps here are a thin, dusty line that stands between us and the many threats crawling throughout the Fall of Desert. They only have two core members here, uh, plus a tag. I'm amazed that they're able to keep up with all the security they need. Of course, Pam from the church helps out as well. Now, the one running the Civil Corps he and I go way back. He's one of the toughest guys around Sandrock these days. But back when we were kids, he was afraid of his own shadow. <laughs> oh boy, how times do change. He's a great guy. And his partner, I'm sure, is also very reliable. If you ever run into trouble, you can surely count on them to help you out. What would you like to know about? Okay. It's not about the church. The Church of Light is all about preserving the sense of community and getting rid of dangerous age of corruption technology. But the interesting thing about our chapter is that Matilda is extremely lenient when it comes to relics mm. and old tech. In Sandrock, we're allowed to hold on to some pretty mean stuff. Sometimes they'll even let relic weapons slide. And it's a good thing, too. Uh, life would be much harder out if we didn't have the means to defend ourselves. Our chapter is pretty unique in that way. Although I heard some chapters near the peripheries take similar stances. The church members are always proactive about helping people in and around Sandra, especially the old folk and the young. They've gotten so organized that, as a matter of fact, they actually help handle a lot of administrative type stuff in town. Uh, we'd be up a creek without them. Uh, well... Creeks have water, don't they? What would you like to know about? Let's see. Where to begin? We're a small town, so pretty much everybody knows everybody else. There's Beatty the tailor, Heidi the architect and engineer, Cooper, Mabel, and Elsie down at the ranch, Katori at the game center, Dr. Fang and his bird. Oh, we haven't met them yet. There's also Arvio and Amira. We've met the them. The sibling duo of Armadon. 
who moved here not that long ago. Arvio's young, but he runs the general store pretty nicely, I think. Really? Amira makes ceramics that are top notch. I think she's even starting to gain some recognition from people outside of Sandrock. You can definitely tell Amira is the older sister. She's always the one covering for her brother whenever his youth gets the better of him. But what's also amazing is that she never lets her skills get to her head. She's very down to earth and she... Uh, uh, sorry, <laughs> maybe I'm talking too much. <laughs> really, this town is full of nice people. If there's someone you want to get to know better, ask them to hang out. Make time out of your day to go see them. <laughs> and hey, who doesn't like a nice good time? I'm sure <laughs> you'll have plenty of friends in no time. What would you like to know about? Well, let's learn about uh, dangers. Yes. There is an infamous bandit around to be a citizen of our town as well. One day he just went crazy and blew up a building. I guess being out here in the desert makes some people lose their minds. Other than that, you have to watch out for some dangerous animals roaming the wilds. <laughs> like the Geeglins. Uh, they're mutated lizards who seem bent on causing us trouble for some reason. Oh, and how could I forget? <laughs> the sandstorms. Our mayor is out in the desert right now trying to stop the winds from blowing sand over what little greenery we have left. You know, it wasn't always like this. A lot of people have left, and I am well aware. Sand Rock might not be the best place for everybody, but there are still people who love this town, and we'll all be sticking around, for better or for worse. What would you like to know about? Okay, I think that's it. <laughs> yep. Uh, don't let me talk your ear off. Some things you've just got to experience to understand. Don't worry too much. You'll fit right in. Hey, I've been doing all this talking, and I haven't had a bite to eat yet. Uh, maybe you should share your tales as well. <sighs> Today was nice. We gotta do this more often. In any case, let me hit you with a couple takeaway dishes for later. <laughs> Builders can't go hungry, you know? I'll take them. Stop in at the Blue Moon anytime you're out of energy. You need a picker upper. Don't know what to order. Get the special of the day. That's right. Uh, we've got a discount on something new every day. Uh, <laughs> uh, sorry. I didn't mean to turn this into an ad spot for the team. I'm sure you're busy learning the ropes around here. I'd better get back to it, too. I uh, hope to see you again soon. Oh. Okay. Let's go pick up scrap. large junk pile so it's gonna take take a bit of time to get through it but uh, hopefully we've gotten enough uh, data disks to go and research the processor because I think we got the Compressor, but not the processor, or is it the other way around? Okay. <laughs> so 
just go super quick to the research center and get that looked after. I'll just run past the door, that's that's fine. So we got processor, now we need the grinder. Also, we need to say hello to this guy. If you ever find anything that looks like it came from an old world space relic, please bring it to me at once. But how should I describe what a space relic is? <laughs> Well, it looks like a relic from space. Obviously. Obviously. Oh good, got enough stuff. Okay, so we need to build this thing. To install it but first I want to really take a look at so we what do we need for the processor we need more copper bars we need three grinding thingies and uh, four more mud bricks so three grindy thingies six mud bricks two gears Um, three grindy thingies. Six bricks. Um, and Lots more mechanical scrap. Meanwhile, let's go install this thing. that hey, it works Yay. Well, now me and my boys can finally get back into the abandoned ruins and get to work. But we're still way behind on our mining quotas. Say, that gives me an idea. You two are like diving, don't you? Sounds good. Any diving with wet builders be back? Well, stop that building. <laughs> I think I got another way we can both help each other out. You want to do some digging? All right, so here's the deal. The abandoned ruins around here are the pride and joy of 
precious resources and relics from the old world. They're open to anybody who has the same pass you use to access our salvage yard. Pass fees pay for folks like you to rent a jetpack in case you dig yourself in too deep, and a scanner for finding relics easier. Also, sometimes we gotta hire the Civil Corps to go through from time to time to make sure we don't have any, uh, incidents. You builders can use your pick hammers to dig tunnels to the ruins, and also to break up ores and valuables that you can take back to your workshop to make all kinds of cool stuff. Anything's fine as keepers down there. I got a little proposition for you. Since the list has been a commission for so long, me and my boys are gonna have to break our backs to make up for lost time. If you wanna sell me some of the ores you find in the next couple of days, I'd pay you top gold. Just something to consider. Well, you enjoy yourself. Don't mind anything I wouldn't mind. <laughs> okay. Mining time. Well, let's take the crane lift. And go into the abandoned ruins. I am not going to buy stuff yet, but I am going to see where the exits and the treasures are. Oh, and the copper ore. of the past. Okay, well, I will have to talk to Katori. Well, I am out of backpack room. Well. Mm. It's health. What did we get? 
a little more stamina. Let's get better XP for mining as well. the exit somewhere over here this is how we get lots and lots of discs obviously Come on. I need to fight you. Scrooge McMole. Because you have you have riches. You have gold and money and stuff. Okay. Well, we can also leave the ruins. It was a good, uh, good quick attempt for our first try. And we, oh, maybe this stuff is back. Not that I can do anything with it, but we should go talk to Rocky in the store. No, Rocky is, well, there's many things happening. That's Katori. Rocky is at his house. Two o'clock on a Wednesday. Why is he not at the dig? Nope, that's that's not Rocky's house. That's the mysterious man's house. Um, okay, so where is Rocky's house? Yeah. Hey, thanks, Builder. <laughs> I guess you found it all right down there. <laughs> this little bit will go a long way. Here's something for you. Hey, that's you know, nothing to sneeze at amount of goals, especially at this level when I'm pretty low on them. Now we've got a museum. I have, I need to save and let's do this mission oh, super hey quick. There. You got something for me? Well, I'll be darned. This relic fragment is exactly the one I was looking for. I can't believe it. Look, look, I have the other fragments right here. Why don't you go over to the restoration machine in my museum and reconstruct this item? Come back when you're done. And then I gotta go pretty soon. Oh, my precious discs. Where did she go? There she is. Now that's a nice relic. I'm gonna display it in my museum. Here, 
something for your hard work. Keep your eye out for more relic pieces in the future. Anytime you collect a full set, you can use the restoration machine to reconstruct the relic. Then you can put them on display in the museum. And, I might add, donors will be rewarded handsomely. Okay. Save. You need not enough stamina to what? To save? Okay. Now it is time to go. Thanks for hanging out, folks, and I will see you later. Oh, I should see if is there anybody to um who's on? Oh, Disco's on. Let's go raid Disco. Disco needs a raid. Disco. 